Well, we welcome you back to U Sports Central. I'm Adam Deal, Charles Ashley the third, right next to me. My friend, uh -huh. we're cruising through this week, Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, cruising. Late afternoon, early evening. Real quick, you wanted to mention someone. I did. I did too. Go ahead. Who I apologize. You got? <clears throat> Terrell Jackson had a phenomenal game for Dale Norty. Yeah, he did. Two touchdowns on the ground, two in the air, 100, uh, 200 yards rushing. Dale Norty slowly showing everyone why they were one of the favorites in, uh, in 5A. So. Good job out there. Well, they're going to win. They're going to win that district. Yeah, and and, and they're going to be a problem in the playoffs. And now they're going to go to the playoffs. I don't know how big of a problem they're going to be, depending on what seed. But let's move on here. Uh, Monday night football recap. Cowboys. You, you want to do this? Redskins. Yes, I want to do this. Let's get this out of the way. <laughs> Tony Romo on, got man. injured. He got hurt. Uh, never good to see. Obviously, if you're a Cowboy fan, we understand. He had back surgery twice, and mm -hmm. when he was laying down on the turf, Charles, game was tied, I think, 10-10 at that point. Um, you know, I think every Cowboy fan, including myself, was thinking not just season yeah. ending, but was thinking this could be career ending because of the surgeries that he's had on his yeah. back. And the way mm -hmm. Rome was a tough guy. So yeah. if he's laying there on the turf, you know it's, it's kind of serious. Bad. You know it's bad. So seeing Romo come back in that fourth quarter, though he didn't do anything, but I think as a Cowboy fan, seeing him come back was relieving, I guess, because we know as a Cowboy fan that you're, we're not going to go anywhere, or the cow. Excuse me, not where the Cowboys are not going you can anywhere. Say we is your with, team? with Brandon Whedon at the helm. I mean, I know he played okay when he came in, but let's be serious. Cowboys will not go anywhere unless Tony Romo is, is at that quarterback I'm position a, for this season. I'm an outsider looking in. Yeah, if I'm the Cowboys, <clears throat> excuse me, it's time to prepare. It is. I think that's a sign, right? You've you, got to get. He's your, taking hits this year, and, and he's and you, you he's a tough guy. So he's he's getting up a couple times, very gingerly, slowly. That that's the sign to say we need to find a quarterback this yeah, year. I would agree. Start grooming because I don't know how many more of these hits he can take. No, to be honest, it could with you. come any any minute, and yeah. that almost was it. But how about I think the bigger story was not just Colt McCoy had a good second half. His numbers were okay. He was. He had a They're gutsy second half. Okay. They kept showing his dad and mom. You got to be happy for the yes. family to see him back in, right? That was cool. Um, he had a fantastic game in the second half, mm -hmm. but I, I really have to give it to Jim Haslam in the defense, and <sighs> they were sanding the blitz every play. Now, Cowboys, you're, you're curious if you know if Dallas would have stuck to the run a little bit more with Murray, especially in overtime. You think that that blitz goes away. It kind of hurts Washington yeah. in the end. So curious as to why the Cowboys I, threw I it so much in overtime. I don't want you to look like a homer. I'm, I'm going I'm to speak from just being outside looking in. Yeah. You're in overtime. Right. You're running the ball. They can't stop you. DeMarco Murray can't ran at 7.8 7 yards a pop. That's 8 yards just a carry. give him the ball. Give him the ball Get out all of the way. way down the field. Yeah. And then if you happen to set up something, do that. Right. So me looking at just as a sports fan, I'm thinking, why would you pass the ball on second and two? Yeah. I agree. <laughs> um, I think Cowboy fans understand that. Right. Yeah. We, we got a formula to win. The Cowboys do. And I need to stop saying we. No, you keep saying no, no, we. I'm a sportscaster here. <laughs> the Cowboys have a formula to Skip win. Skip Bayless says we. You can say we. Okay. Well, I don't want to associate myself <laughs> with Skip Bayless. That's the problem. Um, okay. But Col they didn't. They didn't do it in overtime, especially no, with an all. injured Romo. Just run the football with Demarco Murray, and, and if you you have to throw, then you have to. Throw. They had. It, they. How about you? Got a, defense, you got a, You got a quarterback with a bad back, and has they said in the house. We're sending the entire – they were sending nine guys. One-on-one <laughs> -on -one coverage to the outside, and the they Cowboys couldn't care. figure it out. They, they were like, we'll, we'll take our chance that you getting something over the middle. We don't care. We, we have a strange feeling that you guys are going to revert back to old Cowboy way and pass it on second and two, and what happened? They did that. Run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, set up your play action, game over. Well – Here's the they deal. They have rookie too, is, is Haslam, out there. Haslam has the Cowboys figured out. He did yeah. every year. He's sent in the house to run one. <laughs> I, I don't. I really don't think the Cowboys have figured out that type of a defense yet, which is troublesome because yeah. guess who they have next? The Cowboys will play the NFC leading Arizona Cardinals, who are six and one coming into hey, Cowboys. Somebody Stadium. on this show, I don't know who was, predicted. That the Cards what? will have a good season. I don't know. Some tall, dark, and handsome dude said it. Uh, but anyway. My goodness. So what's going to happen? My this goodness. is what's going to happen. Cowboys, run the ball. If you're running the ball at eight yards a carry, you run the ball. Did you just call yourself tall, dark, No, and I said handsome. whoever had made that, that prediction to the Cardinals. Yourself. 
So, All right, let's move on, Charles, because I this excites me yes. as much as it excites you. The NBA season is tonight. here. Happy opening day to you, sports fan. Um, obviously, I think everyone wants to see LeBron James as he will be playing here soon. He's back with the Cavs. You know that's big time. I mean, that's going to be exciting. Obviously, for New Mexico fans, we want to see Alex Kirk, our man, get in there a little and he's bit, gonna get right? Some he's going to get he's some gonna burn. He's going to. He's going to get some burn. But you know what? Me being who I am, a Chicago boy, you know who I'm, who I'm excited to see. Yeah, D. Rose. Derrick Rose. D. Rose, back in the building. Well, what do you think? Injure D. Over Rose. Over under 68 games. Vegas, that's the, the line. Is okay. he going to make 68 games? You're going under. I'm going over. The Bulls, if, they're, he are. if they're healthy, I think they're the favorites Look, out. D. Rose is that's nasty. That's my personal opinion. He's nasty. D. Rose yeah. is nasty. And you're, you're right. If D. Rose is healthy... Chicago is a contender, not a pretender. They are a contender, yeah. especially since I think Miami is going to be a little bit down, obviously, without mm -hmm. LeBron, and I don't think the Cavs are ready because I think it's shown you that it takes a couple years to get the wheels yeah. running with a new squad like that. And so they have more of a I will agree team. with you. They I'll give you some props. Team. I think D. Rose, but he's got to stay healthy, right? Okay, so you got more of a veteran team. And speaking of the veterans, you have the Spurs raising the banner tonight. The yeah. true definition of team basketball right here. These guys take pay cuts to win championships. They play good team defense. They play for one another. The Spurs tonight will raise that banner to try to go back to back, which like they've never the done. The Yankees. Yes. You, you just <laughs> unless you're a fan of them, uh, you just can't, you can't appreciate stand it. them. And <laughs> the, the, the way they move I the ball, they them. play so nice, and they're fundamentally sound. I can't stand it, and I know they're the best. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. No. But Tim Duncan and his just get it done attitude and 17, 17 every game, 20 and 17. They get the lunch pill and they get I it mean, done. I mean, he's going to be the, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, power forwards ever to play the game. I mean, ah, I want them to lose. No. I just want them to get tripped up and lose. For the sake of our children. I'll go for the Bulls. Over for I, the sake of our children who play the basketball, Spurs. they need to watch the Spurs play basketball, learn how to play team ball, pass the ball, play good defense. Because you don't want to end up team, like teams like this. It's boring. The Rockets. I don't I want to watch that. I despise the Rockets. I want to watch a bunch of guys pass it around. The Where is I he I want at? to see selfish 1v1 basketball. That's what I'm all about. 1v1 so, basketball. So, so, so then Kobe Bryant right then the is the guy to turn to. He's going to take on the Rockets tonight. We get to see him back in action. I hope Kobe Bryant will electrify us like he used to, Charles. Well, all I know is the Mamba. Did you just hear that? Ian yeah, just I, gave us a stat in our ear. Ian dropping stats on us? No one in their 19th season has ever averaged 23, yeah, 23. 23 yeah. points. And Mike, Mike, fantastic. Mike only averaged about 15, so you know Kobe's shooting for that. He's, of course gu he is. he's gunning for that one. He'll get it. Kobe's going to average 25. If he 25. stays healthy. You think? Yeah. Okay, come on back. We've got the drive of the week coming up next. The J-Pole drive of the week. J-Pole drive of the week. <laughs>